Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Ray. You can find me here on YouTube as Animal Doc Ray and also on Instagram. Today, I hope the day finds everyone well and you guys are ready to relax and learn a little bit about Hill Science Diet Perfect Weight. So I had a few questions um, in the comments on one of my earlier videos about Hill's Perfect Weight and um, you know, I review what you guys asked. So today we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna use our point scoring system, the PSS, Dr. Ray invented point scoring system. So if you hang out until the end, you'll find out what we score perfect weight and how it stacks up against some of the other diets that we have reviewed. So in order to do that, we need to go to hillspet.com and look up the perfect weight. So here on the website, you can find um, the perfect weight. There is the package. And so we will do like we always do and go over the front of the package, pick out the marketing, and then we will get to the bones of what is perfect weight. So on the front, you've got a really cute golden retriever. It actually looks like my sister's dog, Nico, a little bit. Um, Science Diet logo and uh, the perfect weight is written on there. So perfect weight, so words like perfect weight, light, reduced calorie, um, all those things obviously allude to the fact that this is a diet for weight management. And so we're gonna be looking particularly for things that are gonna aid our pet in that as we go through the label. Um, let's see, specialty. Over 70% of dogs lost weight within 10 weeks uh, when fed this nutrition. And there was a study done on that, it says USA study. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure we could find out from them or get that information if we really wanted to. Other than that, there's not much on the package. It does show you a picture of the kibble and it is a chicken recipe. So we're gonna have um, you know the predominant flavor there being chicken. So if your pet is allergic to chicken, this may not be the one for you, but that's what we got on the front of the package. Nothing, science diet packaging is usually pretty straightforward. So not much there. Let's see what it says up here and then up. Helped 11 million shelter pets find a forever home. So they must have one of those programs where they donate um, you know, money for every bag sold or something like that. All right, so that's the front of the package. Nothing crazy there. Um, let's get into reading what this is all about. So it's a chicken recipe. It says for medium breed. I guess that has to do with the size of the kibble. Um, we'll look at the AFCO statement for more information about that specifically what life stage it's for. It does say it's life stage adult, but we wanna see that written in the AFCO statement because they can say whatever they want, but the AFCO statement never lies. So that's where we're gonna head over for that information. Um, yeah, fun fact about Hill Science Study, if you guys didn't know, they do have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't like their food, your pet doesn't like, you know, doesn't eat it, whatever it is, you can return it. They do give you your money back 100%. So that's, that's kind of nice because you never know if it's just not gonna agree with your pet or not. Um, let's see the claims here. So Hill Science Diet Perfect Weight provides delicious breakthrough weight management, clinically proven for safe and effective weight loss, results within 10 weeks, healthy weight management, lean muscle support. Okay, recommended for adult dogs, including those that are less active, neuter, otherwise prone to weight gain. Not recommended for pregnant uh, puppies, uh, nursing, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all alluding to this is gonna be an adult life stage and we're gonna figure that out. Ingredients, we're not gonna spend much you know, time here. Um, it is a chicken formula. The first ingredient is chicken. They've got some pearled barley, chicken meal, dried tomato, carrots, etc. So they get two points here because as long as it's not grain free and long as it's not raw, I'm gonna give them two points. So two points here on the ingredient list. Feeding guide. Let's let's come back to the feeding guide. And um, this is a weight loss formula, so we may need to do some calculations here that are a little bit different than what we normally do. We're gonna get back to that. Let's get back, let's get into the nutrient analysis. Now, this is actually really nice. So as you can see here, what they're listing, you have your nutrients in this column, and then you have on a dry matter basis on this column. And um, that's very important because a lot of times the guaranteed analysis as listed on the package is gonna be as fed minimums and maximums, which is not um, really comparable to small animal clinical nutrition guidelines, which is what we use on this channel. And it just kind of gives a standard for us to use um, to evaluate these things. As fed has all the moisture in it, dry matter, they're removing that moisture, so it's just plain nutrients there's no water to uh, make it wishy-washy so it's nice that they have listed it here as that and then they state that as well so uh, the nutrients in this product after the moisture is removed and it allows um, direct comparison so they're right on um, they're right on reading my mind on exactly what I want here so let's go ahead and pull up our handy dandy chart and see where we are 
All right. So starting out at the top, protein. Their protein is 28.6%. Now, um, just to note, again, uh, guaranteed analysis, minimums and maximums. Here they're telling us exact numbers, so that's, a, that's perfect. Um, you know, we're gonna use those numbers. They're exactly what's in the package, so there's no guesswork. Is it more, is it less? This is what it is. So protein, 28.6% is perfect. It needs to be between 15 and 30. Fat is 11.2, and we want our fat between, between 10 and 20. So you can see the fat is, sh you know, shying a little bit towards the lower end, so that's probably part of that healthy weight, um, you know, not excessive amounts of fat there. Fiber, 10.4%. Um, it needs to be less than five. Now, they are adding excess or extra fiber here because, um, again, you know, we want the dogs to feel full. We don't want them to be, you know, ravenous. So what they're doing is they're adding extra fiber to kind of bulk that up um, and allow the dogs to feel a little bit more full so they're not begging all the time. So they're not going to get a point for fiber because it's off, but we know why it's off. So we're going to factor that in at the end, um, you know, when we give the final, the, the final point score. Um, calcium at 0.93%. 0 0.5 and 1, so we're good there. Phosphorus, 0 0.74, needs to be between 0.4 and 0.8, so we're good there. They list the potassium, uh, the sodium, um, I don't have, okay, do, I do have sodium, so sodium, 0.38%, perfect, needs to be between 0.2 and 4, 0.4. Um, let's see, chloride, do they list that? No, they're not listing chloride for us. Um, vitamin E is 641 international units. It needs to be greater than 400, so we're good on vitamin E. Vitamin C needs to be greater than 100, we're at 231. There's a lot of things here extra. We're not gonna give extra points because it's not fair. I don't look them up on all of the packages, but um, they pretty much, they get four points here, okay? They lose it on the fiber. We know why they lose it on the fiber, but everything else is spot on, including you know nutrients that we don't do. So if you think they should get bonus points, you can comment down below if you think they should get like a half point bonus. Um, I think that gets really convoluted, so we're not gonna do that, but. Um, this is excellent. I think that it's checking all the boxes, at least for me, on the guaranteed analysis. So four points there for them. So we've got so far two points for the ingredient list and four points, so we're up to six points. Now what we need to look at is let's find that AFCO statement. Where are they gonna do it? Here it is. So animal feeding tests using AFCO procedures, procedures substantiate that Hill Science Site adult perfect weight chicken and rice dog food provides complete and balanced nutrition for uh, maintenance of adults. So they're gonna get two points here. And the reason being is one, just like we thought, it is complete and balanced nutrition for adults. And two, they did feeding trials. And so that's how they know that 10 per, you know, 10 weeks, 70% of dogs in 10 weeks lost weight because they actually did feeding trials here. So this is not a gimmick. This is not a, we think it's gonna work. Um, they actually did the feeding trials to show that it works. So they get two points here, which is awesome. Um, and that's kind of a thing with science diet. Um, a lot of, you know, people out there say, well, veterinarians only recommend science diet because, you know, whatever, we get paid or, you know, none of that's true. This video is not sponsored. I don't get paid. In fact, I buy science diet, um, you know, and I, I, I pay a bill for it. I don't get it for free. So it's because of the science. It's because the numbers are there presented perfectly. Um, you know, the AFCO statement is perfectly done. And so all of these things that veterinarians as scientists are really, we're really into that. You know, we really geek out and nerd on, nerd out on that stuff. So, um, you know, that's why a lot of veterinarians recommend science diets, not because they get paid or anything like that. But anyway, it's because the numbers match, right? Uh, okay. So let's go up here to weight control. So, um, ideal weight of the dog. And this is a really important thing um, that I want to share with you guys. When you're aiming for weight loss or you have a pet that's overweight or prone to obesity, when you look at these package, you want to feed to the weight that, that you feel that the pet should be, not that the weight that they currently are. If you feed them for their current weight, a lot of times they're going to stay the same or they're going to get bigger. You need to feed for the ideal weight. So right here, they're telling you um, on this side, you want to base this on the ideal weight of your dog in pounds on the left and um, kilograms are gonna be on the right in the parentheses. And so let's do, um, for simplicity's sake, a 20 pound dog, uh, that 20 pounds is gonna be nine kilograms. Okay, if I can use my calculator, we'll check that. Yeah, nine, so that's what that is right there. So uh, nine kilograms, they're saying that you need to feed one and a quarter cups, 115 grams per day 
for weight loss or adult maintenance, they're giving you an adult maintenance option and that's kind of nice too. So you can get your pet down to the weight that they need and then rather than switching them again to another diet that's not weight loss, they're telling you what you can feed for maintenance. So that's nice as well. So let's calculate and see if this is correct. We need the calories per cup. Oh, there it is right on the top, 299 kcals per cup. Um, all right, so let's do some, let's do some calculations here. We're gonna pull up our resting energy requirement chart. All right, so for those of you that are new, this is the resting energy requirement chart. You can calculate it. Uh, the formula is here on the top. I'll point it out to you. You can use um, you know, a calculator that can do exponents. You can calculate it correctly, or you can just use this chart and not worry about it. So for a 20 pound dog right here, they're telling you it's 9.1 kilograms and the resting energy requirement is 366. Now, if you want them to lose weight, then you're gonna use one times the resting energy requirement. So 366, that's what they should get. If you want them um, to be maintained, let's see, maintained uh, average neutered adult, you need to uh, multiply it by 1.6. So three, what did we say? 366, it needs to either be 366 or 366 times 1.6. So let's go back to the Science Diet website. Um, and I probably should write all this stuff down so I don't forget it, but we said 366 times 1.6, that's gonna be 585 um, calories and one and a quarter cups at 299. So 299 times 1.25, 373. 370, 373 for weight loss, so that's pretty close. It's 363, and it's saying 373, so pretty close. So yeah, that's right on point for the, you know, the correct way to calculate that. And then 299 times two, that's 598, and we said it had to be around 580 something. So those are exactly right. They're gonna get um, a point there because that is, um, you know, that's exactly right. Uh, let's see, anything else on the back of the package that we need to look into? It's kind of hard to see the package here. We need to find, um, we need to find cost to feed. Just easier to find these things on Chewy. Okay, there's the bag that we were, that we were talking about. Okay. So on Chewy, uh, the perfect weight in a 12 pound bag is $55.29 or 52 53 if you're on auto ship. Um, it is for a 25 pound bag, $85.99, and that's gonna be $3.44 a pound to feed. So not the most expensive food, not the least expensive food, somewhere in the middle. Um, so that's how much cost to feed. We don't give any points for that because that's individual and has to do with your individual budget. Uh, on a side note, just so you guys know, a perfect weight, so Science Diet has a lot of different uh, weight loss options. They have several options as well for weight loss if you're struggling with weight on your pet. So they have a WD, which is prescription, RD, which is their restrictive diet, which is also prescription, and then they have a newer one, which is called Metabolic, um, that is prescription as well. And so sometimes, um, you know, the prescription diets are just not in the budget or um, just not available to you. And so Perfect Weight would be an over-the-counter uh, option for for weight loss for your pet, but also maintenance because you could do the weight loss and then you can you know you could transfer over to the maintenance based on their feeding guidelines. So let's tally up the points. Let's tally up the points. Uh, there's ten total. Um, I believe they only lost one point. I believe they only lost one point, and that was for the fiber being high. But we know why it's high. It's because it has to do with you know making the pet feel feel full so that they're not begging you when you're on this weight loss journey. So it was uh, two points for the ingredient list, four points for the guaranteed analysis, two points because it was a uh, feeding child and correct life stage for an adult, and then one point for um, the correct feeding guideline. So that's nine points. I think this is one of the highest scoring foods that we have done so far, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and the one point that they got off is just like, yeah, that's, you know, that's what we wanted. We wanted a food that's going to uh, encourage weight loss, but my dog's not going to be driving me crazy because they're starving. So this is nine points. Um, I think this is a great option. We're going to put it in the Amazon storefront. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. If you did, please, please, please leave me comments because this is where I get the suggestions on the videos that you guys want to see. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things, hang out again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that this was fun and relaxing for you and we'll hang out again real soon. Bye.